I'm very happy to have you here now because uh, we've, you've been here before around Halloween. Uh, you are a fan of Halloween. I am. And, well, uh, yes. You, uh, I know your youngest son uh, is maybe, is he maybe outgrowing needing no, you. No, I mean, yes. I mean, he's not outgrowing Halloween at all, but he's certainly outgrowing me. Gotcha. Um, does which this, is sad. Does, do been, you like trick-or-treating? Yeah, no, I love, yeah, no, I love Halloween. I've just been doing it for so long. I have a 30-year-old, and then I have an 11-year-old, and, and I have a 26-year-old. So I've never you, Did not... you space them out like this to have more for Halloweens? Halloween. Yeah, yeah. For Halloween. Yeah. I mean, it's just how it turned out <laughs> yeah, yeah. in terms of Halloween. But you knew but, right away. You were like, this is great yeah, this for is Halloween gonna reasons. Yeah, this going to work out. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it all, you know, as soon as the last one started to get a little bit older, I realized we better start working on the replacement for Halloween. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, last <laughs> year, <laughs> last year, my youngest son, you know, said, I, 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 you know, I don't really need you to, Papa, he goes, I don't really need you to, Go trick or treating with me. I was devastated, really. Yeah. Did you had you already bought a costume for yourself? Well, I've always had a costume around the the house. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we have a. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 No, there's always been dress up corners. Yeah. In the houses. That makes sense. You have a theater background. There would be. But also going back to my childhood, Halloween was great. I grew up on a boarding school campus. My father was an English teacher, so it was a very sort of secure environment. So we were actually able to go out trick-or-treating at a much earlier age. You know, we weren't really going through a neighborhood. We were going through across a school campus. You knew everybody you were running into. You a know? perfect place. A perfect place for trick-or-treating early. And also it was at a time, you know, in the 60s where parents were a little bit more like, where are the kids? Yeah. Oh, they're out trick-or-treating. I mean, they really didn't even know what we were up to. Gotcha. I don't think my parents ever really knew what, what I was to, up to. Yeah. Did you get in trouble? Uh, did you take advantage of the fact that your parents uh, didn't know and get in trouble? Well, I mean, I was so pathetic, actually. I, there was... <laughs> I think I had sort of heard with other friends that, you know, that somehow egg-throwing was involved in yeah. Halloween or soaping things up and everything. But we didn't really relate to it in any way. I, I, I just don't remember really having a real frame of reference for that. Like, really, what you do with the egg. Like, what are you going to egg, you know? Yeah. We, we're not going to egg other kids because we know all the kids are our neighbors. And frankly, we're walking around with them. Yeah. You know, so who are you going to egg? Yeah. So anyway, one... The, I remember the first Halloween where we were going to get into trouble. Okay. Like, that was by design. So you, and that thing where, as young kids, you sort of decide weeks in advance we're going to cause some There's trouble. There's conversation about yeah. it, you know? The, and, the, the sort of anticipation of the trouble, I think, as a young kid no, is absolutely. more exciting. No, that's the whole of it, really. Yeah. And so there was some discussion. The soaping, we really didn't understand. I still don't understand I the don't soaping. Understand. Yeah. So we didn't understand that. But the eggs, I guess, um, I only, re I love eating eggs. And then yeah. I knew for the egg... <laughs> The egg toss on the 4th of July. Right. I knew Were about that. Were you concerned that. at any point that you thought egging was preparing eggs for people to eat? <laughs> <laughs> no, yes. Leave an omelet yes. and ring the doorbell and... Yes. Yeah. And then they step in it. <laughs> yeah, they step anyway, in an omelet. So, so, anyway, we went out with some eggs. It yeah. was so pathetic. What did you end up doing? And so we go out with some eggs, and we're taking them with us. And I don't even know how we were carrying them. But, you know, clearly it was a lot of, like, ooh, you know, yeah. with the eggs. And we took them, and we went to the Perkins house. I mean, Mrs. Perkins, I had sort of a crush on Mrs. Perkins. I thought she was so, I mean, I don't know. Maybe the whole egg of it all was probably, like, you know, how you'd, like, kick the girl you liked sort of in the shins yeah. in the playground. You were, you were I, using I, the egg to flirt. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I thought she was great. You know, I really... You were hoping she'd wake up and go, oh, eggs. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't know what. I, just, I guess I just wanted attention. Yeah. Maybe I wanted to go to, like, Mrs. Perkins' jail. Or oh, something, I you know? see. Right. Or, yeah. I don't know what. But yeah. Anyway, so... Anyway, so... <laughs> We go to trick or treat at yeah. her house or something, and we didn't even like throw the egg. We sort of like dropped it. I'm not even sure, to be perfectly honest with you. I mean, it's a long time ago. I'm not even sure if maybe we dropped it by accident. I see. I mean, it really could have been and as then pathetic it off at that. As like, oh, right, but, oh we be... egged her doormat. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> like, anyway, I know an egg 
you know, broke on her doormat or whatever the hell it was. Well, so then we leave that house and we head off and everyone knows the next house. I mean, she knows the next house. It's the one that's right up yeah, the yeah. road, you know? And of course the next house is the McVeigh's house and Monk is with me, you know, my, he's one of my best friends, Monk McVeigh. It's his family who we're going to next. Well, we show up there and his mother's there at the door like, Mrs. Perkins called, <laughs> you go back there and clean it up. And I, it was so depressing. Was, you know, we get there and she's standing there with this beautiful smile on her yeah. face and a roll of paper towels in her hands, yeah. you know? I mean, it was pretty hey, pathetic. You guys did not think through this crime at all. No, it was yeah. I'm a terrible criminal.